What's up everybody, it's Landon and we're back with more Bloodborne and we're gonna exact revenge on this butthole. Okay, I'm just gonna poke you to death. What are you using? Parry you. Yeah, that's right. Back up. Here you again. He has. Is that the Holy Blade? I don't know what that is. I can't really tell. He vanished before I could look at it. But anywho, he's dead. Pain in the butt's dead. Then come in here, and we will see a new enemy. And actually, I'm going to turn on my hand lantern. Give myself a little ambient light here. Check over here. I don't think there is anything. No, there's not. There's a new enemy that um, kind of remind me of the knights, the little midget knights in uh, Dark Souls 2. part of the bell coming at nights. They kind of remind me of that. They're very uh, heavy in their actions, I guess. They're, they're kind of made of like lead, I guess. These guys are too. There's one right there. They're a little bit passive, honestly. A little bit. So they'll just look at you for the most part. Dead. And dead. Very easy to kill. I don't know why that light's coming through. It's the same light that gives you frenzy from outside, but I don't know why it's coming through here. I mean, I'm inside. <laughs> oh, it's killing things. I guess stuff that was walking back, it's killing it. I don't know. Kind of odd. But here, we're going to unlock a shortcut. One that would have been super useful <laughs> a little bit ago. Take this elevator down, and if you don't recognize this area, there's a troll dying. There's the lamp we got to at the very beginning that I was trying to get on the right hand path. Oh, this view of this elevator. What's going on? Alright, take the elevator back up. I don't know why his leg just flopped out in the air. There's a few more of these guys in here. They're really not that bad. Whoop. Ooh, he said... He said nope. Visceral attack on you. You're dead. They're pretty quick. They don't hurt that well. Or that much. That well. <laughs> they don't hurt that much. Especially at the level we're at. See, they just kind of walk around. Until you get really close and they start telling you to back off. There's one more right here. Should lead us to an item. Yes. Pick up that blue elixir. Run back up. I recommend using the hand lantern in this area down here because you can easily fall off if you don't know where you're going. It's very dark. Very dark down below. But these, these people here, they're bigger versions of what we were fighting. 
dodge their attacks and get behind them, please. They hit very, very hard. Alright, you're dead. There's an item right here. This is what I was talking about falling off. There's holes in the ground. Easily fall off if you do can't see or don't know where you're going. Very dark, because right here, most people would just be like, tra la la la, and fall to your death. Okay, take this middle path and go left. Um, well, that was weird. Wouldn't lock onto you. How dare you shove your shoulder into me? Kill that person. Try. To sneak up. Nope. These are the archers. They also hit really hard. One down. That's good. We're making progress. Two down. That's what I'm really worried about. And get out of the way. Run. Run this way. Get to uh, more open ground. So we can fight this behemoth over here. So I'm not trying to fight her and fall off and die. Hey! Hey! Did I tell you you can turn around? Hey! Come here! Come here, Tina, you fat lard. Eat your dinner. That's right. That's right. Run! Get some exercise. I mean, I'm sure they could be dudes, but I just think they're women their choice of dressing. They sound like dudes when they die. I don't know. Maybe they're smokers. Anywho. I'm gonna come back and take care of this last archer the smart way. I don't know why they bleed. I really don't because they're very uh, made of metal. <laughs> There's a eat yeah, there's a better way to get that. I'm not gonna jump over to it. You can just walk around. Carefully and get that lead elixir. It should be everything in this area. Yep. Just make sure. Okay, now we're gonna ride the elevator up. We're making great progress now, guys. I told you, once you get inside, it ain't near as bad as being outside. Not even close. Speaking of which, we're back outside. <laughs> but that uh, all-seeing, frenzy eye brain upstairs can't see us from here. And this, this right here is one of the weirdest enemies. Um, it's a, it's a dog, dog crow. As you can see, dog face, crow body. I feel like the uh, creators of the game kind of were like running out of ideas at this point. They're like, hmm, let's just put a dog face on a crow. That'd be kind of scary. And so they did it. They're really no harder than crows. They're the exact same, actually. And here's an actual dog. With a crow face. See what I mean? It's just... I don't... It's one part of this level, this game, that I don't understand. Why? Why did they do that? I don't know. I have so many blood echoes. Look at that, 84,312. That is a ton. 
Um, hold on. First, I'm going to kill this guy. Good grief, bro. I didn't see that other one behind him. Okay, you're dead. Jump off. Run and jump. Oh, crap! Don't run and jump. That's totally wrong. You actually roll. Whew. That was almost bad. Run over and roll. Oh, hi. Usually he drops down, but grab that tempering blood gem and then simply walk off and get back on the staircase. If you run and jump and you miss, you fall off the edge and you're dead. And you have to make that whole trek back, which really isn't that bad since we opened the shortcut. But if you didn't open the shortcut, it'd be pretty bad. Um, here is a little shortcut down to the lamp that I'm going to take in just a second before proceeding on because I really want to level up with all these blood echoes. Sounds like a delicious leveling up. Kill these dog crows. Or crow dogs, I guess. Shut up. Grab this bloodstone chunk, and then one more item. King Cold Blood. We've got a ton of King Cold Blood now, too, so that'll add on to those blood echoes up top. It's the most I've had in this playthrough, I think. Then, we're gonna simply walk over to this, go down. And ta-da! We're back to the second lamp we opened, and all the trolls, and the main area over there that was hectic. Yeah, you get the gist. We're back. So I'm gonna go to the Hunter's Dream now. Now that I have all of that. I have 96 insight now, too. Almost maxed out. Yes, okay, I'm going to use all of this cold blood that we got, got three, ooh yeah, money time, oh man that's awesome, okay and then I'm going to use these two, we got 98, almost maxed out on insight. We would be if we took those, but that's for a later date. And I desire to level up, please. A bunch. Durant skill. That. I only leveled up three times. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. It's a lot better than I was. Uh, Garmin's there still. Fortify. Oh yeah, let's fortify the hunter pistol, bring it up to plus eight. Blood gem fortification, let me repair them first. Yeah, I figured it'd be kinda broken. Uh hold on, let me focus on the rifle spear first. Got anything better? No. Nothing? Oh, there's something. Yeah, I'll put that one on. This one, I'm sure there's something better. There we go. Yeah, I'll put that on. Nothing really better there. Don't need blood attack because I don't use uh, blood bullets that much. I'm actually going to. Actually, I'm going to end this here. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.